Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, thank you for bearing with me through the technical difficulties. Appreciate it. So I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the future, um, especially what is up with Filecoin in 2023. So this is an MVP Filecoin roadmap for next year. It definitely is not complete. Please come talk to me afterwards if you have things to add to it. Um, but this is actually a follow-up on a presentation from Phil Austin about three months ago. It's crazy that it's only been three months because so much has happened just in the past couple of the past quarter. Um, this was on what Filecoin had planned in 2022. And so this is our 2023 update. If you missed that presentation, don't worry, it's online. You can grab the QR code there and take a look later. So looking at 2022, there were three main components of the Filecoin roadmap. The first and most important was capacity and data onboarding. This was really taking Filecoin from being a live capacity network to bringing in useful data storage and helping put all of that capacity to work, storing humanity's most valuable information. Um, an increased focus that really started in the um, May, June time of the year, about the time of my uh, uh, presentation at Phil Austin, was around data retrievability, actually helping people who brought their data to the Filecoin network be able to retrieve and access it, and that's been a big focus ever since for the past quarter. And finally, an area where we've been setting the, the building blocks, starting to build our foundation, is around breakthroughs in programmability and computation, actually allowing you to deploy smart contracts on the Filecoin chain and interact with data programmatically so you can run compute jobs at scale over the petabytes of data stored in Filecoin. So these are the three main components of the Filecoin roadmap, um, and this is what that, that roadmap updated for for where we are today looks like. So um, as you can see, tons of efforts happening here in the capacity and data onboarding space, uh, an improvement kind of starting in the Q2, Q3 timeframe around retrievability and focus there, and then you know, building blocks along the way around programmability and computation that are accelerating now today. When we look at the Filecoin master plan, um, this really hits the first two milestones here amassing amazing storage hardware and onboarding useful capacity, and making sure that humanity's most important information is stored there. We also maybe had a little detour also into setting the stage for smart contracts in the future. And so when we look at 2023, our focus remains on useful data onboarding, but extends heavily into actually bringing computation and smart contracts to that data to enable internet scale applications. So this is a preview of an MVP Filecoin Improvements Roadmap for 2023. We're not quite in 2023 yet, so there's a lot of stage to be set in Q4, lots of new exciting releases and, and test nets that are happening to preview a set of the technologies and upgrades that are coming in 2023. So you can see here, capacity and data onboarding continues to be a big focus. Data retrievability is heavy going. I actually have more things in here that I literally couldn't fit. Programmability and computation can barely fit on the screen and continues to be a focus throughout the entire year. And then we have a new player on the block, which is chain scalability with all of the new applications and smart contracts and computation that's gonna be happening in Filecoin. This becomes a renewed focus for us, making sure that we have the chain space in Filecoin through sharding to enable web scale compute. So, uh, to give us a little deeper dive into what's coming in the next three months, what might you look forward to if you come join us in Phil Austin, sorry, in Phil Lisbon, don't go to Austin, you won't see us there. Um, to set the stage, there's a lot of alphas and test nets that are launching in Q4 that preview all of the amazing improvements coming in 2023. You can see our list here, but, but what are these things, you might ask? I'll take you through a tour of them. So first is ceiling as a service. Um, ceiling as a service is a new technology that's been enabled in Lotus and is going to be worked on by many of the storage providers in our ecosystem, which helps decouple the ceiling pipeline and the data storage pipeline, enabling these things to happen on two separate nodes, two separate entities, so that Lotus can consume pre-sealed sectors or partially sealed sectors. Now, why does this matter? This matters because you might have different hardware configurations in different parts of the network. Some storage providers might want to focus just on GPU mining. Maybe you're an Ethereum 2 miner who's been amassing GPUs for a long time and you can no longer apply them to the Ethereum 2 network. How about you bring those to Filecoin and you enable 
all of the people who want to store useful data but don't have the GPU capacity to participate in Filecoin's sealing process for onboarding that data. Similarly, maybe you want to simplify your storage provider setup and you want to have less investment in hardware focused on sealing and more focused on the, the best in class providing of useful data, working with clients. You want to run that on a Raspberry Pi. This enables you to break these two different parts of the storage provider setup into different entities and create a marketplace there around sectors. As you can see from the roadmap, we're currently, we've launched in Lotus, and there's, we're in a testing phase headed towards pilot in November, December. Um, so if you want to join the wait list and you want to come get involved either on, on any side of this marketplace, please uh, scan the QR code. Um, and this is all gearing up towards launch and then marketplace uh, level enablement um, in December and January. On the data retrievability side, there's a ton of work being previewed in Q4. There's a lot of work that's been happening both at the, the um, storage provider layer in Filecoin and on the IPFS layer around how we find and access data in the IPFS network to make sure there's seamless interaction between IPFS nodes retrieving data and Filecoin storage providers serving it in the network. So the Boost team has been doing a lot of work to offer free IPFS retrievals to all data stored by storage providers running Boost. And the indexer team has been integrating the, the network indexer into all of the IPFS gateway and Kubo hardware so that everyone can have seamless end-to-end -end support for finding and retrieving content. There's also been an amazing amount of work happening around retrieval markets. I'm super, super excited for the Saturn public L1 alpha that's happening Sorry, that's probably a preview, but uh, it's happening later this quarter. There's an awesome roadmap that you can go check out, and you can see that they're already serving hundreds of millions of retrievals per day in the Saturn network, which is amazing, um, with, I think it's 50, 53 nodes around the world. Pretty darn cool. Um, and if you aren't, say, a big storage provider who wants to, uh, has beefy hardware and wants to offer L1 retrievals, maybe you're interested in Station. Station is a desktop application that you'll be able to download and run L2 nodes in the Saturn network. Um, and they have an alpha that's coming also in the November, December timeframe, um, where you'll be able to connect your Station node into the Saturn testnet and start serving retrievals such that you can download this application in the future and eventually earn file just as you go about your day to day on your desktop computer, which is pretty freaking exciting. So install that next to, uh, next to your IPFS desktop in the future. And last but not least, there's been an amazing amount of work happening around programmability and computation, which is all leading up to adding smart contracts and programmability into the Filecoin network. So you can see this is the, the Filecoin FEM roadmap that's available on the website. Um, we are really pulling up to some very, very important milestones here in Q4, building on the work that was launched in July with the FEM M1 release. Um, so we have a couple of different components here. FEM testnet is already live. The Wallaby testnet has been live since, I think, late August. It's had uh, over 60 smart contracts deployed on the testnet so far. It's EVM compatible, so um, you can get excited about the upgrade um, roadmap here where we're launching new um, capabilities into that testnet every single week. Um, and the Filecoin Foundry F0 cohort has been building new tools and SDKs um, for the Filecoin M2.2 milestone. Um, and all of those videos are also up on the Filecoin YouTube channel. So who's going to use this testnet? The Filecoin Foundry Early Builders Program. Um, we're launching a new cohort of the Early Builders Program entirely focused on smart contract developers and builders um, who want to launch Solidity or MetaMask or whatever applications that are compatible one-to-one -one with Ethereum that you want. Um, you can apply now, use this QR code to join the Early Builders Program. If you're building um, smart contracts or you have a smart contract already deployed on EVM, bring it to Filecoin. You can use all of the same tools, Hard Hat, Truffle, Remix that you're used to, and you can come and enable and interact with all of the Filecoin built-in actors to start um, enriching your applications with actual interaction with storage layer and um, looking at what storage providers have on chain and making deals and things like that. So come contribute to bringing these new capabilities to Filecoin. 
An important part of FEM is also reconfiguring the Filecoin actors for use in programming. Um, when we designed these actors, we hadn't designed them for be them being called by smart contracts with easy to use APIs for developers. And so there's a lot of pre-work that's being done in the next Filecoin network upgrade, codenamed Shark, um, which is happening to enable those built-in actors to be easily used and enable all sorts of exciting um, use cases like uh, programmable storage markets or um, you know, persistent storage contracts, things like that, all interfacing with those built-in actors. Um, and so this is actually targeting a mid-October launch on calibration and an early November mainnet launch. So Shark will be, will be a thing, hopefully, by the next time I talk to you all. Um, and really, what is the, the big, big milestone for FVM for us to look forward to in Q4? It's the incentivized builder net. So all of the foundry and testnet is building up towards actually running a live mainnet um, uh, bridging uh, value from mainnet into a builder net where smart contract developers can launch their applications um, and start collecting real value for their, for their usage. Um, and so this is actually an amazing opportunity to partner with other breakthroughs coming to the Filecoin network. This is a partnership between the Filecoin virtual machine team and the hierarchical consensus team. And this is a shared, the plan is at least, this is a shared test net and builder net that's going to be focused on enabling those builders and also utilizing all of the new components um, from hierarchical consensus so that we can ship a subnet of Filecoin that is enabling those use cases. Um, so that's super exciting. You heard it here first. Okay, so that, that brings us up through Q4. As you can see, there's already a ton of stuff that's shipping and landing just then, but I wanted to highlight five important kind of like mega items that are landing in 2023 for you all to get excited about. Um, and that's the Filecoin retrieval market, of course, FVM and FEVM, or FEVM, compute over data, L2 capabilities enabled by both FVM and compute over data, and a hierarchical consensus. So as you can see, the focus for next year is really around the data onboarding, making sure humanity's information is useful and accessible, and compute, computation, smart contracts, and internet scale applications. The retrieval market is one of the first and biggest components of that. We have our test nets and alphas that are shipping in Q4, leading up towards mainnet launch um, in 2023. Uh, this is a decentralized CDN for the Filecoin network, enabling global second or millisecond level uh, retrievals of data stored on Filecoin. We have FVM, which is uh, smart contracts and programmability for the Filecoin ecosystem, not just storage, but also interfacing and launching new capabilities into the Filecoin network. Um, and this is fully EVM compatible, and it uses a WASM core. So the way that FVM is being powered here is not maybe the way that you're used to with other EVM compatible blockchains. FVM is actually a hypervisor that has plugged an entire EVM runtime on top of our FEM runtime. Um, and what that enables is full compatibility and full support for everything you're used to in EVM land. Compute over data is making a ton of progress and building towards mainnet launches in uh, 2023. There's a ton of different groups who are building various different specialized compute over data projects um, that are optimizing for different use cases. Um, and they're really refining and improving the performance, the usability, and the data pipelines. Of course, FVM is only as powerful as the applications and tooling that people are gonna bring to the network. And there's a ton in the works already that people are aiming to bring and launch on Filecoin as part of FVM. So this is new L2s, new capabilities for Filecoin as a network. Um, what I'm super excited about is this threshold encryption network, which enables you to have things like data access controls, where you can have a threshold contract saying who can access data. You can actually have a permission data network on top of Filecoin that say charges for access to data by different groups, super cool. There's data preservation DAOs, actually having long-term permanent storage on a blockchain network that constantly repairs and improves itself over time. Data retrieval pinning, actual guarantees and built-in incentives around retrievability of data in the Filecoin network. And of course, compute over data running on Filecoin as an incentivized or um, paid scheme that interacts directly with the data stored in Filecoin. Super exciting new capabilities. 
And last but not least, all of the work around hierarchical consensus, which has been uh, an amazing kind of like research project this year, which is now going and crossing the divide into development, launch, and adoption next year, starting with Filecoin, but also an immensely powerful tool that enables sharding and subchains to scale the Filecoin network dramatically. So as you can see, there's a lot planned for 2023. I don't yet have time to go into all of these, and I think I'm missing some, but if you want to come talk to me more about this later, would love to chat with people. There's so, so much to be excited for next year. Thank you all so much. If you want these slides, feel free to grab the QR code. Otherwise, I'm Molly, um, MoMac28 on Twitter, and I'd be happy to chat with you about any of these awesome new engineering breakthroughs.